by Fishigan is brought to you by Strike King. Additional production assistance is provided by Labatt, Liquid Mayhem, Michigan Department of Natural Resources, Fisheries Division, Nitro Boats, Bubba Blade Knives, Fish Monkey Performance Fishing Gloves, Lose Rides and Reels, Ego Nets, Mission Point Resort, Michigan Wheel, Universal Power Group, and Green Mountain Grills. It's all sand right now. I'm looking for blotches, dark spots, rock. I'm gonna go in shallower and take a look. There's a big largemouth. That's what I've been, I've been looking for. I'm up here in these reeds. Now I can slow down and maybe pick them apart with a rage crawl. Nice big largey. Hate that burner. Nice big fish. There might be a whole bunch of them up in here. Let's find out. Big fish. Another big large one. Come out of them reeds that are starting to grow, right to see them underneath them. Grab that burn. Swiped at it and missed it. Got it anyway. Nice big large mouth. These northern lakes are full of them too. There's another nice one. The same thing. Beautiful fish. They're awesome. Two or three pounds. They're bigger in here. Set up into the wind. There's another big one. Three pound plus. Nice fish. Make it back into these reeds. Come here. Nice. They hit like a ton of bricks. 20 pound braid, gamma torque. Good sport. <laughs> Man, I love this. It's a great spot right here in this little point. Got to be one somewhere set up in there. Reel that spinnerbait right on through there. You feel it going by and through the stalks of those reeds. Back in here a little deeper. Get a good look at what I'm fishing. Just weaving that spinnerbait through there. It's a good 
good steady retrieve, keeping it about six, eight inches underneath the water. Holy cow, that one hit like a ton of bricks. That's a big fish, I think the biggest one yet right there. Oh man, set up right on the outside, just like he was supposed to. This portion of iFishigan is brought to you by Gamma Fishing Lines. Oh man, set up right on the outside. Just like he was supposed to. Just like he was supposed to be. He's been reading the same books. About the same size. Three, three and a half. And he's got it deep. Nice fish. They're just starting to set up in here. I'll tell you, man, you can't beat it. A little boat control pays off. And you don't want to get right on top of them. Just short 30, 40 foot pitches. Keep this underneath the water just a little bit. And they let you know if they're there. Thank you, Straight King. We're taking a little break to set up a little bit differently. First thing I did was I changed the color of my spinner bait. The white was working really good, but we're gonna give them a different look. We're gonna go right back down through there. We we came down through there, you know, fish that whole area, and there's a bunch of it pretty fast. So I'm gonna throw a different spinner bait, you know, doing the same thing, concentrating on the front edges of the stuff with the wind pushing into it. And I'm gonna slow down my seven foot 11 inch meat rod, blue speed stick. Pro, the Super Duty Lose Bait Caster, seven five to one speed. And I'm gonna Texas rig, which I already did, Texas rig this Rage Tail Crawl. It's a three eighths ounce head, four aught hook. I'm gonna give it a little scent, whether it needs it or not. Liquid Mayhem is a game changer. Whoa. Oh, get all them reeds. That might be the biggest one yet. Get all these reeds. hit it twice. I think it's the same fish. Nice. I'm a chartreuse this time. Just too much wind to flip the rage craw in this situation, so I'm just gonna pitch, power pitch the spinner bait. Pick pockets <clears throat> like I've been doing. Another one, good one. This portion of iFishigan is brought to you by D and R Sports Center. It's right up in these reeds starting to grow. Lots of fun. Cloudy days helping me. They're not spooking 
at all. Another one. Saw this and eat it. Just come up and sucked it in. Cloudy day, wind blowing in. There's a big fish. Can hardly jump, she's so big. <laughs> right on that point of reeds again. I like this chartreuse. She ate it deep. fish. Not as big as a couple caught. She started spawning just a little while ago. You can see the bottom of her tail. A little bit red. Nice fish. There we go. Nice fish in those reeds. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Some of them are on the outside, some are inside. The bigger ones are on the outside, I think. Another one, very next cast. Good sport. There's a nice one. He's way up in those reeds. This is a big girl. Nice big girl. Let's see if we can get us away from the reeds. Beautiful fish. Healthy. She hasn't started spawning yet, I don't believe. That's sweet. Nice, cloudy day, chartreuse burner. Keeping it just below the surface. Yes. Another one. Kind of getting ridiculous. <laughs> I'll take ridiculous. Ah. Nice. I mean, how many times are you gonna hear me say that? Mm -hmm. Sweet. I'm gonna check out all my gear, make sure everything's cool. I've been going to war for a while. Everything looks good. The loose speed stick, medium heavy, 7.3 with a crush, the lose, new lose, orange crush. Big caster. I'm gonna retire. <laughs> that's how it's supposed to be. Well, that's how you hope it is every time you go fishing. Just tie in the old polymer knot so the braid won't slip through there. in the braid with the ego pliers. Ego make great tools, fantastic nets. New sponsor by Fishigan. Tremendous products, quality stuff. Okay, I think we have new life. I can fish with confidence and be aggressive without fear my line breaking. I like it. Bottom's a lot darker here. Not seeing any beds. Places where they'd like to bed. A little male. There's another good fish. This portion of iFishigan is brought to you by we see law. Hey, we're getting ready to clean some fish here. We've got today two different bubble blades that we're gonna be using. The first one is the 12 inch flex and the second one is this nine inch stiff blade. 
We're gonna be using these to clean this lake trout to start, so I'm gonna get started right here. First thing we're gonna do with this process is we're gonna start by taking the skin, or pardon me, taking the uh, flanks and side off this fish. So we're gonna start right here. The fish for a right-hander will always be to your left. That way you always get a perfect cut when you flip the fish over. So what we do is we start that cut and we angle our blade slightly on an angle, 45 degrees. That way that it'll push down on those rib bones and allow us to float those rib bones and not have those rib bones be part of our fillet. So as we're coming back towards the back of the fish, a little bit of down pressure. This bubble blade does a heck of a job of cutting right through there very nicely. And when I get to the end, I just give it a flip. As you can see, we don't have any rib bones in there. This bubble blade floated right over those babies and left us with this nice fillet. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take and we're gonna get the meat clear of the skin. Now you'll notice that as soon as I flip this over, I kept that clean cut up so that it's not in the slime of the fish where it's laying. So now that we've got it removed from the skin, we're gonna simply lift this fillet up and we're gonna set it right over here into another spot that's clean. That gives us the opportunity to not have any slime on that fish. Slime is what really causes a lot of your fishy flavor and the less slime you have on your fish, the better it tastes. Now each fillet comes with three components. We've got the tail, we've got the loin, and we've got a flank. So what we do is we'll start here and the pin bone line is right here. As you can see this white line above the lateral line. At the end of this pin bone, if you run your finger through here, you'll feel where that pin bone line ends. That's where your perfect boneless tail fillet comes from. What we're left with now is we've got this pin bone line and this huge flank. The way we're going to do this is we're going to start at this end of the fillet and we're going to pull the radius of the bubble blade right through along the top of that pin bone line. If you see with my finger going through there, it's separated that and the pin bones are right along this edge. Generally I'll come through here with the radius gently three times. That radius of the blade will follow these bones, but not cut them if you use the radius. So as you see, I'm just tickling it with the radius, this time to the table, and that releases the loin. So that loin is now boneless, skinless, and ready to go. So what we're left with is a flank that has all the pin bones in it. And if you look very carefully, you can see there are, they're all right in there, right along the edge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply take the bubble blade, come in on this side, we'll tickle along that edge of those bones one time, come through with the finger just to make sure you didn't miss any, and then tickle it through gently down to the table. And when you do that, what you end up with is this very thin strip which contains all your pin bones. So now what we have is we've got a loin, a boneless flank, and a boneless tail section with no slime, and it's ready for your family. That nine inch bubble blade did a heck of a job on that and I really like the way that these go through the fish. They're really sharp and from an ergonomics perspective, you don't lose a grip on this, on this handle at all. This is the finest handle that I've ever seen on a fillet knife. Up in that darker bottom stuff. Hmm, nice fish. Just so much fun to muscle out of there with this lose medium heavy seven foot three. Perfect for this kind of thing. Pitching, power pitching this spinner bait all around cover. Get a good look at that. The orange crust seven to one. Nice. Check them out. You gotta check them out. There's something. Yep, it's a large mouth. Not a big one. But he followed and ate it. Just a good sport, but we've caught a bunch of nice fish on the burner. White one first, and then this chartreuse. We 
started out fan casting, hoping to find hoping to find some smallies up on a flat. And then I saw a bunch of cover, a bunch of reeds, and just started to grow. Starting to grow just like these right here. That whole shoreline. And you saw how many bass we caught. Maybe that you know, maybe we were the first ones to put a bait in front of them. I don't know, but man, they were set up and it was a ton of fun. I'm Danny Leonard. Thanks for watching. I fish again. I fish again is brought to you by Strike King. Additional production assistance is provided by Labatt, Liquid Mayhem, Michigan Department of Natural Resources Fisheries Division, Nitro Boats, Bubba Blade Knives, Fish Monkey Performance Fishing Gloves, Lose Rods and Reels, Ego Nets, Mission Point Resort, Michigan Wheel, Universal Power Group, and Green Mountain Grills. They hit like a ton of bricks. 20 pound braid, damn a torque. Good sport. <laughs> Man, I love this.